Hello everyone, today we'll be covering BIM LODs and how they are used to define the level of detail in a BIM project at different stages. BIM LODs are used to specify the maturity and reliability of the digital model. The LOD framework provides a common language and understanding for stakeholders to communicate and manage the BIM information effectively. It helps ensure consistency, clarity, and interoperability among different parties involved in the project. There are six LOD levels, each representing a different degree of detail and development. LOD 100 is the pre-design stage of the model. It is a conceptual model where the parameters such as height, area, volume, orientation, and location are defined. The information at this stage is considered an approximation. It may consist of some preliminary 2D CAD files or even simply hand sketches. LOD 200 is the phase that will transition the conceptual model into a model ready for the creation of construction documents. At the conclusion of this 200 level, a model will contain the approximate quantity, size, location, and systematic relationships of most objects that will eventually be installed. Although specific object information may not yet be available, at a minimum, space claims for each object or system should be accounted for. LOD 300 is the Building Design Development Stage of BIM. This is the stage where design coordination happens. Contractors will begin coordinating their systems to ensure that each one has the space needed to function within the building. LOD 350 is the construction documentation stage. In this stage, the interfaces with other building components like connections and supports are also included. LOD 400 is the construction stage. It includes details such as fabrication, assembly, and installation of the components. These details are used by the suppliers for the manufacturing of the components. LOD 500 is the as-build stage. These are considered to be accurate representations of the building elements post-construction and will include any design changes that may have occurred during the building process. These elements can be used as references for operation and maintenance by the facility managers. At LOD 500, the model will contain all building elements. They will be geometrically accurate while not showing excessive fabrication level detailing. For example, ductwork will be sized correctly as installed, but may not have flanges modeled. Objects will contain their actual recorded costs, purchase documentation, commissioning data, and maintenance requirements, as well as any other data relevant to the life cycle management of the building. By using BIM LODs, project teams can effectively communicate the level of development expected at different project stages. This helps in setting clear expectations, managing project deliverables, and minimizing misunderstandings among stakeholders. It also enables efficient collaboration and coordination as each team member understands the level of detail and accuracy they need to provide and expect from others. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to learn more about BDC and BIM, then click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.